got a pretty uh, conspicuous leaf now. Yeah. Uh, very, very huge heart. And they are quite thick, almost, uh, almost the texture of a paper towel. Some people jokingly call them the forester's friend. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> yeah. But the odds of you having to go to the bathroom and there happens to be a catalpa nearby, pretty slim. Okay, But I guess it would be good if there was. And that's all good, but here's the very best thing. You've got opposite, alternate. I've been talking about that all day. Don't stop. Don't forget that, right? you got to do it first time, every time. This is the only one you're going to ever have that is called World. There's three at each spot. I broke one off, and there's still two more. So World Leaf Arrangement. This is the only plant you're going to get. That's, this is even more significant that you're going to get. That's World. Every now and then, it will be opposite. Only two. And here's the deal. The leaf I pulled off was about as big as this one. Very often at each node, one of the leaves is smaller. It's like it's trying to be opposite, but it's not. So there'll be kind of two larger ones and then a smaller one at each node. And every now and then, there will only be two. That's kind of on the rare side. But it's not perfect. You might say, well, how come there's only... You know, two here. Uh, somewhere on that tree, there's a lot of threes. Okay, you need to look. You know, look at a lot of them. You'll find the threes. Uh, the leaf scar. I'm kind of make it here. These these leaves were not aren't loose at all. They're not coming off yet. I tried to sort of show how it would be. It will be an oval. That's kind of unique. In fact, it's kind of a sunken oval. Some people describe it as looking like Bristol Motor Speedway. If any, there's any NASCAR fans here. Kind of looks like bristle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sunken oval. Yeah, dished out oval. And that I'm kind of. They'll break off much nicer than I just did there. They're not really loose at all, where some trees are. But to look, there's three too. Even if you can't remember the shape of it, there's three leaf scars and three buds. It's that's it. It's catalpa. Okay. To make it even easier, it's got all these interesting. Bean pod, bean-like pods, not beans, but long, long, they look like very big green beans. And that's a very common uh, Dr. Dendro email that I get. <laughs> I've got this tree with these big, long beans. I quit reading. And I hit reply. It's Catalpa. And then they're like, oh, thank you. I don't even need They read the rest of it because it's very common that people spot that, especially when the leaves fall off and they're hanging there. They stay on a, most of the winter. You know, as the winter progresses, it, you know, things are falling off, but it makes it through most of it. Uh, we're calling this naturalized to this area. If you look at the range map, it's this tiny little spot, and the thing is just expanded. It's, we find it growing out in the woods and stuff. It's never common, so it's naturalized for you guys. And then someone else mentioned yesterday as we were walking away, I hadn't mentioned it. He goes, are they always this weird shape? And yeah. They're very, they're like an awkward child. I mean, every one of them is a little <laughs> different. They're really clunky and goofy looking. Like, that one's kind of nice, you know? But then you got this and that. They're just these strange, like, limbs, you know? They're, they're clunky. 